long ago, about 2,000 years, when King Herod ruled Judea, now part of Israel, God sent the angel Gabriel to a young woman who lived in the northern town of Nazareth. The girl's name was Mary and she was engaged to marry Joseph. The angel Gabriel said to Mary, Peace be with you. God has blessed you and is pleased with you. Mary was very surprised by this and wondered what the angel meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid. God has been very kind to you. You will become pregnant by the Holy Spirit and give birth to a baby boy and you will call him Jesus. He will be God's own son and his kingdom will never end. Mary was very afraid, but she trusted God. Let it happen as God chooses, she replied to the angel. Gabriel also told Mary that her cousin, Elizabeth, who everyone thought was too old to have children, would have a baby boy whom Jesus has chosen to prepare the way for Jesus. Mary said goodbye to her family and friends and went to visit her cousin Elizabeth and her husband, Zachariah. Elizabeth was very happy to see Mary. She knew that Mary had been chosen by God to be the mother of his son. An angel had already told him, then returned home to Nazareth. Joseph was worried when he found out that Mary was expecting a baby before their marriage had taken place. He wondered if he should put off the wedding altogether. Then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Don't be afraid to have Mary as your wife. The angel explained that Mary had been chosen by God to be the mother of his son and told Joseph that the baby would be named Jesus, which means Savior, because he would save people. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel had told him to do and took Mary as his wife. At this time, the land where Mary and Joseph lived was a part of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire Augustus wanted to have a list of all the people in the empire to make sure they paid their taxes. He ordered everyone to return to the town where their families originally came from and enter their names in a register and or census there. Mary and Joseph traveled a long way, about 70 miles, from Nazareth to Bethlehem because that's where Joseph's family came from. Most people walked, but some lucky people had a donkey to help carry the goods needed for the journey. Joseph and Mary traveled very slowly because Mary's baby was due to be born soon. When they reached Bethlehem, they had problems finding somewhere to stay. So many people had to come register their names in the census, that every house was full and every bed was taken in all the guest rooms. The only place was to stay that the only place to stay that they could find was with the animals. People often kept animals in the house, especially at night, and used them like central heating. People normally slept on a raised upper level with the animals below to give them extra warmth. So in the place where the animals slept, Mary gave birth to Jesus, the Son of God. In those days, it was the custom to wrap newborn babies tightly in a long cloth called squaddling clothing. Swaddling clothing. Jesus' bed was the manger that the animals ate their hay from. In the hills and fields outside Bethlehem, the shepherds looked after their sheep through the long night. As the new day began, suddenly an angel appeared before them and the glory of God shone around them. The shepherds were very, very scared, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you and everyone. Today in Bethlehem, a Savior has been born for you. You will find a baby lying in the manger. Then many more angels appeared lighting up the sky. The shepherds heard them praising God, singing, Glory to be God on in the highest, and peace to everyone on earth. When the angels had gone to the shepherds, they said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see what has happened. So the shepherds went to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph. The baby Jesus was lying in a manger, as they had been told. When Jesus was born, a brand new bright star appeared in the sky. Some wise men in faraway countries saw the star and guessed what it meant. They were very clever men and that studied stars and had read in old writings that a new star would appear when a great king was born. The wise men followed the star towards the country of Judea, and when they got to the capital called Jerusalem, they began to ask people, where is the child who is born to be king of the Jews. The wise men followed the star towards Bethlehem where it said that the king would be born in the writings. It seemed to stop and shine directly down upon the place where Jesus was. The wise men entered the house where they now lived and found Jesus with Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. The wise men spread the gifts that they had brought before Jesus. The gifts were gold, frankincense, and mesh. When the wise men had gone, an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, the angel said. Take Jesus and Mary and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search to Jesus to kill him. When Herod realized he had been tricked by the wise men, he was furious and gave orders to kill all the boys aged two or younger in Bethlehem and the surrounding area. This was to 
try and kill the new king, as his plan to find the location of the new king from the wise men had failed. After Herod died, Joseph had another dream in which an angel appeared to him. The angel said, Get up, take Jesus and Mary, and go back to Israel, for those who were trying to hurt Jesus are now gone. So Joseph got up, took Jesus and Mary, and they went back to Israel. But when he heard that Herod's son was now king of Judea, he was afraid to go there. So instead they went to Galilee and lived in their old town of Nazareth.